Shalom, I'm Yashar Alo, praise you, how about you, Shai? And we're back with a uh, quick, very important lesson for Israel to understand. Uh, very easy for your spirit to be taken from you and fall into the hands of a living power. And though offenses take place, you don't, everyone needs to remember that this is for the salvation of uh, the elect of Israel and ultimately all of Israel to remember their heritage and gain back that godly power uh, Yasharal uh, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob this is Proverbs 7 and 1 my son keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee keep my commandments and live and my laws as the apple of thine eye bind them upon thy fingers write them upon the table of the heart this is very important, you know, keep them. You have to stay in this word daily, all the time, pray without ceasing, that he doesn't make you slip of the tongue, that he doesn't make you offend one of your beloved, that you are able to withstand the wiles of this wicked kingdom. Because back in Proverbs 6, is the basis of this quick video. Proverbs 6 and 1, my son, if thou be, if thou be a surety for thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself when thou art come into the hand of thy friend. Go, humble thyself, and make sure thy friend. And who's your friend supposed to be? It's supposed to be an Israelite. Now, the two-thirds that obviously don't know, there's really no reason to condemn them uh, other than to show them and teach them because two-thirds don't know. You know? And the condemnation, any type of fiery tongue should be upon those who know better because they're in the Word. So, my son, if thou be surety to thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself. When thou art come into the hand of thy friend, go, humble thyself, and make sure thy friend. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a robe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. This lesson comes up in a This is going to be related to another scripture that's very important. You know, that's why it's important to stay in this word and uh, visit the brothers at the camps. Um, because you need to constantly learn, especially if you're gone astray and a lost sheep and you know you're sick, you know, some of these brothers, you know, me personally, I, I, mean, I just can't hack it in this fucking kingdom here in this society. This wicked kingdom is rough for me and I don't take anything, you know, medicine for it other than herbs and vegetables. And unfortunately, I was medicating myself with alcohol quite heavily, um, mainly off camera. And, you know, and everything you experience throughout your life and all the troubles that have become you and you feel like, you really feel like you got nobody. Um, so it's important that you watch your mouth, man, because Israel is the only person you have in this truth, Israelites. They're actually the only people to look up to on the planet Earth. Uh, when you get into this truth, you'll understand that the shepherds uh, bringing on New Jerusalem, you know, gathering the elect, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is concerning the things whereof he wrote unto me. This is First Corinthians 7 and 1. It is good for a man not to touch. A woman. I think that's Naga. Naga. 
you know, any naga happening, you know, when your lady is out, that's a violation of the scriptures. You know, the Lord's going to deal with that man, but also, just keep reading. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. And this society is not doing that, man. This wicked kingdom makes me angry, you know, makes me very upset. Uh, it's mainly these Edomites and other nations that have caused this to happen to Israel. And Israel don't know any better, only the elect do. You know, the hopeful elect can't easily drive a wise man mad. 1 Corinthians 73, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolent. And likewise also the wife unto the husband. So these women need to come in order. The wife had not power of her own body, but the husband and likewise also the husband had not power of his own body but the wife because when you uh, create what they call a holy union where you have marriage and you enter unto a woman you know you become one flesh and sometimes all the nagging and bickering you, know, you gotta take a you gotta take a reflection at yourself and hopefully your girl does the same. But they'll be willing they'll be willing when shit hits the fan. You know, they might believe you now but uh, they might say they believe you now, but when they see shit hit the fan, man, it's like First Corinthians seven to five, defraud ye not one another, except it be with consent for a time that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again that Satan tempt you not for your incon in incontinency Acrasia Acrasia, Acrasia. To want of self control, incontinence, and temperance. You know? Want of self control, incontinence. Like, you got in relationships a lot of times, uh, they don't want it wrong, you know? The want of self control. And confidence from the root word what does that mean? without self control, intemperate shit, man. Y'all ever had crazy blowouts? Man, you be like, God, what demon is on me, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Unable to restrain natural discharges or evacuations of urine and feces. Uh, okay. Unable to contain or retain. Usually followed a incontinent a temper, man. Lacking in moderation or self control. Especially of sexual desire. Well, that's what definition dictionary.com thinks. And that's what the of Arab slave traders thought of too and all these devils in other nations that's why they castrated the men because yeah, they said the Israelite was too fruitful multiplying and had a high sex drive so dictionary.com be careful unceasing or unrestrained an incontinent flow of talk wow this is an excellent lesson this is Second Timothy three one. This know also that in the last days, and per perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient, 
to parent, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. This know also that in the last perilous time shall come. And those for the watchmen of Israel, we've seen every single one of this. And in fact, some of us need to repent for, for doing that shit, man. You know, this also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. They think their shit don't stink. Covetous. They always worried about what another man's got going on. Boasters. And they can't shut up about the same thing over and over as if their shit don't stink. Proud. That's obvious. Blasphemers. Those who have done not according to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. Those who know better and have fallen fa fallen back like a back sliding heifer. Disobedient to parents, not just earthen parents, but those that had you know advised you wise counsel. Unthankful, there's no gratitude in these last days. Unholy, and this ain't just for Israel, man. This is this is for everybody, because we know Esau and the other nations doing this let's just clarify that but this is for the elect of Israel just to be saved and for Israel to come into the fold of their heritage on the other side without natural affection without natural affection truce breakers false accusers you know making up a whole bunch of stories assuming about someone, you know, like claiming, you know, you got a witness about something, but you don't, and you're accusing others. So make sure y'all follow the law of two witnesses before you start running your fucking mouth. Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, those who sold out and took the Judas purse. Those who still use the English term black to describe the so-called Negro, um, that's messed up. Heady. High-minded. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Let's look up heady. Propites. Propites. Properties, properties, to fall forwards, headlong, sloping, precipitously, precipitate, rash, and reckless. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh boy, this is a great lesson, huh? That's high-mindedness, a derivative, go to that, to raise a smoke, to wrap in a mist, metaphor, to, uh, to make proud, puff up with pride, render insolent, to be puffed up with haughtiness of pride, because, you know, these scriptures were written for the sick and needy of Israel, all of Israel, and any Israelite out there, who uh, maybe you humble yourselves amongst the congregation or amongst the brethren, but since this truth is out there now and you got so many camps, then maybe you should humble yourself to all of them and admit, you know, some of your mistakes uh, with shamefacedness. Uh, though Yahweh Bashimi Hashai will deal with it so that he doesn't want to make Israel look weak, but. To blind with pride or conceit, to render foolish or stupid, be clouded, besotted, you know, to raise, wrap, and emit, to make proud, puff up with pride, render insolent, to be puffed up, to to blind with pride or conceit, you know, and and that kind of makes people look foolish and stupid 
you know, if your shit don't stink and uh, all that. Because your your garments are filthy, man. You ain't righteous yet. The kingdom ain't here right now. It exists within you. The kingdom of heaven established upon earth. You ain't got them glorious garments yet. So I suggest you, um, you know, sit down, hold up, be humble. First Corinthians seven five again. Defraud ye not one another, one the other, not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency, your inability to refrain yourself or restrain yourself, your inability to have self-control. All right. First Corinthians 7 and 6, But I speak this by permission and not of commandment. For I would that all men were even as I myself, but every man hath his proper gift. Listen up, everybody. Every man has his proper gift of God, one after this manner and another after that. You know, just because you got Israel bound to go off in this wicked fucking kingdom, because there is a news flash that no one is perfect, only he, how shy is, and we are only made perfect through his holy word, right, constantly in the word. I say, therefore, to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide, even as I. But if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. But, and if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife. But to the rest speak, but to the rest speak I, not of the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. And the woman which hath a husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God has called us to peace. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou save thy wife? But as God has distributed to every man, as the Lord hath called everyone, so let him walk, and so ordain I in all churches. Is any man called being un is any man called being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. Is any called an uncircumcision, let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandments of God. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Art thou called being a servant? Care not for it. But if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's free man, freeman. Likewise also he that is called being free is Hamashiach's servant. Ye are brought with a you ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. You sellouts. Brethren, let every man wherein he is called therein abide with God. So with that, I'd like to
give all honor and glory, praises due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder pushing his truth and have been pushing his truth for years, going hard in the paint. Shalom, Akim, Aquathia, for diligently studying and paying attention in truth and sincerity, living out your holy calling as Israelites. Shalom, and thank you for uh, watching. Keep watching.